Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about Arduinos and how to measure different types of pulse widths using Arduinos. So basically for this project you, we will just be simulating in the Proteus environment rather than we will not be building the original circuit on the hardware and we will be writing code using Arduino IDE. But before we begin go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you remain updated about all the latest videos that we will be uploading on this channel. Before we begin, you need to have the Arduino IDE and Proteus ICS installed on your computer. If you do not know how to add Arduino to your Proteus, you can watch one of my previous videos where I have explained thoroughly how Proteus can be used to simulate Arduinos. Now to begin this project, first of all we will pick parts from library. I will write down Arduino over here. and. It will show us different types of Arduino, Uno, Nano, Mega, Lillipad, etc. We will select Arduino Uno over here. After that, I'll write down LCD and I'll select LM016, which is 16 cross 2 alpha numeric LCD. And let's just add in a couple of resistors and potentiometers if we need them. Now, I have placed an Arduino and an LCD. Let us connect the LCD to the Arduino. This is the 4 bit configuration of an LCD in which you only wire 4 you only connect four wires and leave the other four either open or grounded RS, RW and E connected and after that we will take a potentiometer place it over here connect this to VE, VDD VSS VEE and from here we will select power and ground okay now I need to give some sort of pulse to this let us say the pulse that we need to measure we have connected on pin 11 and let me set it to pulse initial voltage low is 0 high voltage should be 5 pulse start at 0 rise time 1 microsecond fall time 1 microsecond and pulse width should be let us say uh, 20 millisecond. I'll measure pulse of 20 milliseconds frequency of 30 hertz okay so now this side working on Proteus is complete let us go to the Arduino ID first of all since we have included LCD in our project so now I need to include liquid crystal library dot h and create liquid crystal object LCD and assign all the pins of the Arduino that I have connected to the LCD to it. So I will write down 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1 and 0. Okay. Now in the void setup I will initialize, initialize this LCD as 16 cross 2 which means it has 16 columns and 2 rows now since I have to measure the width of pulses I need to create a variable which will store pulse width and this should be of floating type in this void loop section I'll do those works which I need to repeat continuously while the program is running or while the Arduino is running so I will write down over here uh, like things like calculating pulse width and if delays are needed and displaying the things on LCD so I will write down over here pulse width is equal to now the function we are going to use over here is pulse in this function 
needs two arguments the pin at which your pulse which is to be measured is connected which in our case is 11 and if the pulse is high or low which means that if the pulse is 1 or 0 at which time do you want to measure it either you want to measure the pulses which are low or you want to measure the pulses which are high the pulse time basically so 11 and I will measure the high pulse the time in for which it is high and then I will convert this pulse I will write down uh, display this on the LCD by writing LCD dot set cursor 0 0 I need to go to the 0 0 position and the LCD dot print pulse width okay after this I need to compile when I compile the program uh, while I'm compiling the sketch there will be a lot of information being displayed over here but after this program is done compiling you need to copy the address of hex file and place it into the your into the Proteus ISIS by double clicking your Arduino and giving it the address of the hex file which you need to connect with this Arduino so now we are done compiling and let us copy the address from here and double click here on this Arduino and place this address over here and click OK so all done now what's left is to run this when, when I run this you can see it is showing 19882198 or something which means 19800 uh, microseconds if I want to convert this to nanoseconds or milliseconds all I need to do is multiply or divide with thousand uh, uh, let me convert it into milliseconds because we placed it placed 20 milli as the pulse width so I will divide this by thousand and compile again so after it's done compiling let us run this again and you can see it now shows me 19 milliseconds of pulse width so pretty good considering the resources we are using and uh, quite easy to use as well so that is all for today and be sure to check out other videos on my channel and thank you for watching until next time please take care